how do you set up a web server with one of these outdated uh, items here anyway? So it's outdated and obsolete. What we're going to show you anyway. It's like this is like I've used this computer here for like uh, eight years. And I don't get used at all. It's the same in my closet for the time being. It starts up, it works. Seriously. Well, the first thing you probably need is a uh, server based operating system. You can download or buy it. But it's not, it's text based. It doesn't uh, use graphical interface, whatever. Because graphical user interface would require something a whole lot faster. The third thing you're going to need is a network, like a figure. If, uh, if your computer does not have uh, networking like this one here, like it was made in uh, 2000, which is pretty much uh, so obsolete. I should, I should have had it uh, replaced sooner, but who knows what I might do with this. May just replace everything inside, all the components, motherboards, all that, drives. Replace it all and just uh, for an experiment or whatever. We don't have uh, networking connections. Buy a network card like this, uh, like I did here. Figure I found it. I figured this network card. I found it like uh, a couple years ago at Walmart. You'll need uh, network cards. If you do uh, have an uh, internet connection, like routers, or whatever. Like if you got a router, that'd be better. Use an unused part in your unused connection in a router. And you need network cable here. Like uh found this uh like we got like when we uh like around the time when we uh went to DSL internet. But now we uh use Comcast high speed internet. They provide us with this uh like like the phone call like Verizon provided like figure with their uh, DSL modem kits or whatever, they provide this uh, network cable. Managed to get, managed to use it too. We went and bought a router. Figure, connect the router. You figure use the uh, figure the network card is a good uh, good use anyway. You'll probably need uh, setup instructions. <laughs> Like this here, I found on a website somewhere. Don't ask me to build a web server on one of these because I'm probably not going to anyway. Who knows what might happen with this? May dismantle the part, sell them off, or throw it out, which, uh, or, or better yet, sell off the parts and uh, recycle, and then uh, recycle, and then take them, and then send them all out to the scrapyard. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen to it? And you probably need to have a CD too. So if you have a CD and you have instructions like uh, to work with that uh, server-based operating system, mainly text-based, follow the instructions very well. Pop the CD and also. Oh yeah, I forgot. You work in the optical drive, whatever, to uh, install the software. Like if you like, say, figure if you download a server-based, uh, a text-based server or operating system, and put on a CD, you'll need. Let's see ROM drive. This one here is that it plays uh has DVD playing capabilities. But uh but but you 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 understand. You get the point. Just uh follow the instructions. And you probably need a monitor too and uh keyboards and all that and all that shit. Just figure connect a lot. Figure figure do all whatever. Follow instructions very well. Connect it to the router. Follow the instructions. If you did all right, you got yourself a working web server. Figure this is something you can experiment with. And afterwards, you could just uh turn and figure. Figure if you could do this on an old computer is outdated. Like this here is outdated. Like an outdated, uh... 
Pain 3 system. Oh yeah, it's really old. I really understand anyway. And you have a working web server, it's a nice experiment. But uh, what I need a web, what I need a web server for anyway? Go figure. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video.